All right, so you wanna use air power to go turkey hunting? You gotta check this out. If you kind of think about the foot pounds of energy, any big bore air gun, even the most powerful ones in our industry right now, they're still below the foot pounds of energy of a 410 shotgun. But a few years ago, Federal Ammunition completely changed the game as they came out with Tungsten Super Shot. So basically what Tungsten Super Shot is, is a type of pellet, a shotgun pellet, that is made out of tungsten. Now there's different tungsten alloys and different tungsten mixtures that you'll find across the shotgun industry. But true tungsten super shot is 56% more dense than lead. So here in this photo, on the left we have tungsten, number nine, and on the right we have lead shot and number five. So you'll notice on the left that number nine is roughly about two millimeters in diameter where the uh, number five shot is roughly about three millimeters in diameter. So what that means is whenever you're putting this shot into a shot cup or a shot wad, you're literally getting roughly about 350 pellets of number nine and about 170 of lead number five per given ounce. So if you think about that, that is quite a few more pellets flying down range at that turkey because you really want to hit that neck and you really want to hit the head to basically put that turkey down right away, most ethical shot possible. So last turkey season, I took the very first turkey ever in the history of Michigan legally with an air gun shotgun. So during that process though, I learned a lot about the shotgun lethality, distances that you should be taking on turkeys with air gun shotguns. So last year's shot was probably like, maybe like a 10 yard shot. This year, I'm going to be trying that exact same thing. But this year, I'm going to be using the Wing Shot Mark II. And with the Wing Shot, I saw that Air Venturi actually makes uh, shotgun capsules that are hand reloadable. And for me right there, that was the game changer. They do sell them with, I believe, number eight and I think number four lead shot. But at the velocity that you're slinging those with this, I mean, it might be good for like you know, small game, really close, squirrels. I, I believe I saw Jim Chapman actually take some jackrabbits with it. But when you're talking about a turkey, they are a pretty hardy animal. And quite honestly, a headshot, neck shot is the only way to hunt a turkey. Today, we're gonna be doing some uh, testing with some homemade, I guess you would call them like flight control wads. If you do a little bit of research on what Federal is doing with their uh, flight control wads for shotguns, Basically, it completely gets rid of the need for a choke. So it's just using the ability to keep that shot in that cup as long as possible to hold pretty tight groups. And so, All right, so let's go ahead and hand load a couple of these custom loads that I'm putting together here. So this is the number nine uh, tungsten super shot. And by using the Sabo cup for a 50 caliber Sabo cup, this is actually a 452 Saboed up to a 50 cal. Um, they also make these in a green version. So actually it'd be better to use those green ones because you're going to be able to get uh, more shot volume within the cup. So basically all I do is I just fill it up. I make sure I use a bowl to control the spillage because this stuff is expensive. $100 for two pounds. So basically just fill it up like that. I secure it in there with Teflon tape. And the key though, is when you're putting the Teflon tape um, around this, is you really wanna make sure the Teflon tape is a little bit thicker actually towards the front. Cause what is happening is the uh, wing shot barrel does have a slight uh, choke to it, even without the uh, external choke on. When you, when you take that off, the barrel has a slight choke to it. So I believe it's actually right at 0 0.50 at the breech, but the, at the muzzle, it's like 0.48. And so that slight amount of um, barrel constriction, that choke at the end, so what that does is it peels off the Teflon tape and keeps the shot within the shot cup just for a few extra yards. And that's just, it keeps that pattern nice and tight. And so if you're going head hunting and neck hunting on turkeys, that's super critical. So, all right, so let's do some testing and check it out. All right, here we go. All right, so you just drop it in there like that. Give it a good push up into the barrel. Close it, you're ready to rock. 
This is actually going to do about a just a half an ounce. In the tungsten super shot number nine. All right, here we go. All right. There's my point of aim. And the center point of impact is there. And that's a pretty tight pattern. There's not a lot of holes in that. So I'm gonna adjust the uh, red dot down here to that center pattern. Let's see if we can center that up a little bit. All right, so I actually want to try one more. Uh, I took the uh, choke off that actually comes with the shotgun. So I noticed last year when I was running the tungsten, as I went down from like a modified choke to a full choke, with the tungsten, since it doesn't deform to the choke, because the uh, tungsten is actually harder than the steel choke itself, you'll blow out your choke if you uh, shoot tungsten long enough through these things. So yeah, with the shot couplet, see if it even just patterns even a little bit better on there with no choke. All right, here we go. Not bad, actually that might be a little bit tighter. Shot a little bit lower, but yeah, let's go check it out. All right, so, that's without the choke. And you know what? So yeah, that actually might be a little bit even tighter with no choke on it. And what I think that's doing is with that tungsten, um, if you look up the uh, tungsten super shot with the flight control wads from uh, Federal, uh, really the wad itself acts as a choke. So basically the shot stays in the cup longer as it goes to the target. And so I'm wondering by choking it down, maybe it's disrupting the uh, the pellets a bit and breaking up the pattern just as it uh, leaves the muzzle versus no choke where it's staying in that uh, wad nice. And there's actually, you can see where the wad broke through right there. So, I mean, hell, freaking wad would probably kill the turkey. This shot pattern, I did not change my point of aim. I'm just gonna bring it down just a little bit, put a new target on there and see what it'll do. All right, adjusted the red dot up and bring it more up into the center. All right, here we go. Bingo. That's what we want. So I'm gonna call that pretty darn good. Maybe just a touch high, but Again, turkey's head, dead turkey. You got the turkey's head, you got the neck. So really you just wanna get at least a couple pellets there in the old thinker muscle, right there in the old turkey neck. So yeah, let's put up a turkey target so you can see. Here we go. All right, just for testing, I'm actually gonna double load this one. So this is almost a full ounce of shot. So. See if we can even get that in there. Yep. yep. So it closes. Let's see what it does. All right. Full ounce TSS. Here we go. All right, so let's take a look at like on this side so you can actually see the holes a little bit better. Yeah, that's a dead bird right there. Nice little cluster right in the uh, end of the brainstem. Again, that wad probably would have gotten them too, but uh, so yeah, so double loading it like that. Notice how it changed the, uh, the point of impact, kind of shifted it, shifted it right there. So, but I think that's the way to go. Double loading, here we go. All right, so there it is everybody, the wing shot from Air Venturi. This thing is super, super fun to use. Definitely gonna have to get those turkeys in close this year. I mean, just like I did last year, got them in within 10 yards. So 
I would definitely say where this gun definitely shines is if you can shoot this with an arrow. This thing slings arrows over 500 feet per second. So. If you live in a state, let's say like Virginia or Tennessee, and there's others, Florida, Texas, there's other states that allow you to use these with the arrow or bolt. That really is the way to go with this platform. Now, if you're gonna go in the shotgun form with this, guys, if you are slinging lead, just understand the terminal ballistics of what lead shot does. It is losing energy extremely fast and your uh, shot pattern is spreading out extremely wide. If you're going after turkeys with this thing, it is definitely a close combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat almost kind of situation. So that tungsten super shot being 50% plus more dense than lead, total game changer. You're basically extending your range, you're extending your knockdown power, you're extending the ability to have tighter groups with this thing. So yeah, if you're going to do that with turkeys, TSS, don't use lead. If you can hunt in a state where you can shoot arrows, definitely go with the arrows so all right so we got a little bit over a month till uh, opening day here in michigan so wish me luck so thanks again everybody for joining me take care